Let us come together this morning. And feel the satisfaction, feel the contentment, feel the stillness that we recognize as God. The book of Revelation gives us a visual image of the divine throne, the place where our elevated consciousness rests and it is surrounded by a lake as smooth as glass. The divine mind is perfectly content. It needs nothing. It lacks nothing. There is no sense of strife nor struggle in the omnipotence that is God. Whatever it desires to experience, whatever it chooses to experience, it does by an act of will or volition it speaks its word. It declares its intention. The divine mind says, let there be. And some part of the divine itself, acting as a blind force, as a power of evolution, does whatever needs must be to bring into actual experience that which the divine word has summoned. And that divine word has summoned each and every one of us, you and I and all people. It has summoned us into being. We did not create ourselves. Our parents did not create us. The mud of the earth did not create us. But the divine will said, let there be, and we are here. It has created us in its image and likeness, which is not a visual representation, but it is an essential representation. We are part of it as the wave is part of an ocean. And since it creates by speaking its word and allowing the blind force of the universe to act upon it, we have been created in such a manner that we too can speak our word. And that which we declare, believing in our hearts to be so, becomes the experience in our lives. We recognize then at happiness or satisfaction or contentment or peace or bliss or the experience of God, which are all different ways of saying the same thing, is right here where we are. That experience is available to us if we would just speak our word. A popular saying in the New Testament is speak but your word. In some of our established religions there's a prayer. We speak our word and our soul shall be healed. The healing of the soul is the elimination of separation, the experience of unity. So today we speak our word that our soul shall be healed, that we shall experience the happiness, the joy, the bliss, 
the satisfaction, the beatific vision, the presence of God. We release and let go of every and any idea to the contrary. We allow the blind force, the power of the universe, to act upon this word and to create whatever change or changes as needs must be in our consciousness and in all consciousness for the full and complete demonstration of this word. We are grateful for the opportunity to do so. We are grateful to know that this power exists and we now release this word to that power so certain it is done that we say together and so it is.